What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm gonna be taking on Ninian and Hawkeye's limited hero battle and I'm gonna be giving guys free to play guide with absolutely no skill inheritance. So this is gonna be my first solution with just three units and you don't really need too much investment in sacred seals for the solution. So I've got Spring Bot right here with no sacred seal and then I've got Brania with quick and pulse sacred seal because she has got a four turn cooldown special at base so you need to make a three turn cooldown special so that's why you need quick and pulse and then at last we have got narcian he needs to have drive speed two sacred seal if you just have drive speed one then you could have this and run hone speed on slotzy or just run hone speed one on uh, botre or just run drive speed one on narcian there are a lot of options and slotzy is open for you to improvise in case you do not have upgraded but pretty much everyone has this upgrade so let's begin with infernal you will learn your place so this map could be a bit uh, annoying at times because of uh, Ninian being a dancer. So you just want to have your Brunia over here. And have your Botra over here. And Narcian is basically there to take care of the Lance Cavalier and to also bait that Sword Cavalier into going in the left side. So here, because of uh, Glacies being a uh, 3 turn cooldown special after Cook and Pulse, she's able to take out that Green Mage and that is super useful because we do not want to keep that Green Mage alive because Hawkeye does have Wings of Mercy. So now you want to use Smite on Narsin and just yeet him and use him to do some damage to this Lance Cavalier Yes. and finish this guy off with Brania. So having Narsin on the right side is going to have... Hawkeye and the Swordow Swordfighter to go in the direction because they can beat Narcian into a pulp. So that's pretty nice. And we can just take out the Sword Cavalier. Now make sure to have your Narcian over here because he is going to be triggering Wings of Mercy of Ninian. So we just want to make it so that Hawkeye cannot teleport. And now we can just create a choke point of the sword. As you say. Because Ninian does absolutely no damage to Brania. Because Ninian has got like 40 attack and Brunia has got 40 resistance after Fimble Vetter. So, yes. we can just take our time for destroying these units. As you say. And Hawkeye is gonna go down and our Glacius is gonna be charged up the next turn for nuking this Sword Fighter. So that is gonna be useful. By your will. So we can do that, and uh, I wish Obstruct was a bit more useful in this battle. But Obstruct doesn't work against past enemies, unfortunately. I really want to nuke Ninian with my Glacies. So I'm gonna do the sadistic thing and just end turn. And now we take out Ninian with Glacies, the yes. overkill. I will face my fate. 55 damage on poor 1 HP Ninian. <laughs> so that's the first infernal solution with 3 units and absolutely no skill inheritance. The second infernal solution just requires you to have Sophia over Narcian and once again I'm using 3 units. So Brenya needs to have attack plus 3 as a sacred seal so that she can finish off that Lance Cavalier. Sophia needs to have distant defense, but honestly, you could run something like uh, HP plus 3 or rest plus 3 on Slotty, and that should work out. Even with distant defense, that's not version 3. So, there are a lot of things you could do because Warding Blow is pretty bad. So, Slotty is open. And then we have got Spring Botra. He just needs to have uh, attack plus 1 Sacred Seal. And you could also get the attack plus 1 Sacred Seals in many quantities from Squad Assault. So, shouldn't be that big of a problem. And let's begin with Infernal. And you just need to get like 3 extra attack on Brunia, so you could run any kind of blow skill as well, like Sparrow or Sturdy Blow Sacred Seal. So you just want to have your Sophia in the range of uh, the Stream Mage. Botra over here and Brunia in this position so that she can give the Carrot Cudgel activation to Botra. And she can also just uh, get into Fimble Vetter range after taking the Savage Blow damage. So Sophia is going to be destroying the screen mage with that dragon fang and uh, we can just go ahead and take out this Lance Cavalier with uh, attack plus 3 sacred seal. An attack plus 1 sacred seal is required to take out the sword cavalier. And once again Ninian does absolutely nothing so uh, 
You can just stay here. And Botre is going to be doing quite a bit of damage to Hawkeye, so we can just take him out. Like this, and then nuke the sword fighter with Glacies. Yes. And that's basically it. So we just have Ninian now. Who's gonna be trying to battle Brunia, but at the end of the day, she just does Ting Ting. And her miracle is gonna get charged up here. Unfortunately. Miracle is charged up, but we do have Potra here, so we can yes. get the overkill. I mean, not really overkill because she does have Miracle. I will face okay, that's feet. a bit lame. We got the same special coat twice. And now Potra can just finish Over. off Ninian because Sophia doesn't even do like one damage to uh, Ninian. And if you do have a Sophia that's highly merged because of her weapon refine, and because you have Fae Pass, then uh, you would just have to downgrade her weapon. And that should still work out. I don't really have Fae Pass, so this is the Vanilla Sophia, basically. For Lunatic Solution, you don't really need any other unit than these two. And these don't even need to have any kind of Sacred Seal and, of course, no skill inheritance. So, yeah, just default base kit and let us begin with Lunatic. That's the way! So on Lunatic, we don't really have that sword fighter, and Hawkeye has a different position. So he can be attacked first, basically. Or I guess it's easier for him to attack yes. first because he's in the range. So you just want to have your Bartra in the range of this sword cavalier. He's going to be using pass. Obstruct is literally so worthless. Doesn't even stop pass. So Renia is going to get attacked, but that's actually good because now she's in the Fimble better range. Say? So, we're gonna take out that uh, Sword Cavalier. You Just have Bautry over here. And Bautry can take out Hawkeye. And this uh, Lance Cavalier is gonna get danced. But Bautry is a beast, so he can easily take that hit. And we just double this Bye. Lance Cavalier and take him out. And then yeet Brunia into the range of these two units. There are absolutely no threats to Brunia. Especially after her Fimble Vetter has been activated. Can easily take the hit, nuke that green mage with Glacies. And yeah, we yes. just have to take on Ninian once again. Even on Lunatic, she cannot really double after a Fimble Vetter. Which is a bit unfortunate. And now we're gonna have our Glacies charged up. So that is gonna be the final yes. kill for the video. And let's see if we can get another special code. I no, three, three out of three, the same code. What are the chances, man? Come on. Why? She has so many other really good codes. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Um, let me know which units you use to beat this battle. I want to thank all of my YouTube members for their support. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously. And share this video with your friends. And make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can always get the updates to my videos whenever I upload. Because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as Ninian's damage on Brania. So that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.